Optimus proceeding as planned with power core insertion. It's completed at last. This new power core will triple Cybertron's energy reserves. It's a great achievement, Perceptor, but are you sure the city can safely handle the excess power? We've taken every precaution, Ultra Magnus, but just in case there should be a power overload, activating this lever will jettison the power core into space before an explosion can occur. There's Rodimus Prime signal. All right, stand by for the fireworks. Wow. Hey, hey, we did it! That power core will keep Cybertron lit for centuries. And generate enough energon to make us Autobots completely self-sufficient. A remarkable accomplishment. It makes me hate our rebellious constructs more than ever. Once we Quintessons were the masters of Cybertron. Until the Autobots' ancestors forced us into exile. Through the ages, many groups of Quintessons have tried to retake Cybertron, but none have succeeded. Until now, to secure Cybertron for the future, we can draw on help from our distant past. What do you mean? Surely you have not forgotten our first experiments in cybernetic construction, the Transorganics. Transorganics? Those are only a legend. Not to the one who built them. They were the first attempts at creating a race of subservient cybernetic warriors, half beast, half machine. But the process was too unstable, and the transorganics were judged unfit for even simple tasks. One transorganic in particular, originally designed to be a living energy siphon, turned on us, and in the fight, that's when I lost one of my own faces to the beast. Those transorganics we couldn't destroy, we locked away in a hibernation chamber deep within Cybertron. Then the rumors we've heard of a massive creature that dwells beneath Cybertron are true. Yes, and if that dweller could be released again, I predict it would destroy every robot on that world. Then Cybertron would be ours for the taking. But how could we release the Dweller without being destroyed ourselves? That task will leave up to the Decepticons. You cringing, cowardly, weak will fools! Why am I still stuck on this worthless cosmic trash bin? Why have I not retaken Cybertron? And most importantly, why have I been saddled with such a useless pile of rusting junk for followers? But Galvatron, we humble sweeps need Energon to... It's power you want? I'll give you power! Greetings, Decepticons. We have come to make you an offer. Quintessons, you betrayed us to the Autobots. Why should we listen to you? <laughs> Please, Galvatron. You can't lay one bad experience on the doorstep of the whole Quintesson race. Besides, how can you be so certain we are the ones who betrayed you? Well, you all do look alike. State your offer. This, the Autobot's new power core. Think of it, Galvatron. Enough raw power to make the Decepticons the ultimate force in the galaxy. I warn you, don't try to deceive me. What's in it for you? Consider it a peace offering to strengthen the alliance between Decepticons and Quintessons. An alliance that has become somewhat strained during the recent Autobot-Decepticon War. Can this abandoned shaft really be the entrance to the Power Core? It had better be for the Quintessons' sake. Hold it! Stop where you are, Galvatron! Of course, Ultra Magnus! Come on! That won't hold them for long. Once we reach the power core, we'll have power enough to destroy an army of Autobots. 
everything is going precisely as calculated. Soon, the unwitting Decepticons will unleash the Dweller, and all the Transformers will be doomed. We must witness our victory firsthand. Set a course for Cybertron. Good work, Springer. We should be able to catch up with the Decepticons now. But what are they doing here on Cybertron? And why did they pick this particular shaft? It's been closed for ages and leads absolutely nowhere. This is the lowest level of Cybertron, but there's still no sign of the power core. Do you think it was just a Quintesson hoax? Galvatron, perhaps behind this door. That's it! Stand back! What? There's no power core here. We've been tricked. The Quintessons will pay for this. I knew it was a waste of time. What is it now, Scourge? Help me! Help me! Oh, no! 
there's still a chance to save Rekgar. Springer! Come on, Rekgar, buddy. They haven't canceled your series yet. <sighs> Made it. of their power like some kind of vampire. Ah! It's turned Rekgar into an energy vampire. Scatter! <laughs> if we can lure it out of this chamber, we'll have more room to fight. <laughs> So soon? We're trapped! I have to try and transform! After these messages, we now return to the Transformers. Scepter will know a way to cure them. Soon, Cybertron will be ours again. I calculate that they have already unleashed the Dweller, and it is even now destroying Autobots and Decepticons alike. Excellent, my friend. You will be honored for your shrewd plan once we retake our rightful world. No, all I ask is a chance to destroy the creature that did this to me. You will have it. Why can't we find our way out? It must be this way. No. Stay back, you fools. Stay back. for them. It's not possible! They seem drawn to us by our energy life force. Stop them! I don't care how, just stop them! a good soldier. Help him! Galvatron, no! I bid you! <laughs> Hurry! That won't stop them for long! should be an exit shaft up ahead. And you're right! But it's rusted shut! Not for long. Come on! Galvatron! I don't know what that thing is back in the tunnels, but even if it gets me as well, I'll die! with the satisfaction that the universe will have two more Autobots to mine! 
mine! I'll tear you apart for that! We'll send the Junkions around for him later. Right now, he's the least of our worries. This is most alarming, Rodimus. Some unknown force from beneath Cybertron's surface is absorbing energy like a sponge absorbs water. Whatever's doing it is on a direct course for the power core. Rodimus! The Decepticons have let loose some kind of living energy leech. And anything the beast touches becomes an energy vampire as well. We've got to destroy that thing before Cybertron becomes a dead husk. Cop! Rector! Springer! They can't hear you, Rodimus. They're suffering from a unique form of energy depletion, making them into energy leeches themselves. So, what can we do about it? <laughs> a massive power load should bring their imbalance up to normal. We have to form a chain! Now! What happened? Suppose you tell us. Let's get out of here! Galvatron, I'm relieved you got away, my lord. Yes, I have a score to settle with some deceitful Quintessons. I still don't know why they lured us down there, but perhaps releasing that beast wasn't such a bad idea after all. Look at the size of it now! It's feeding on all the energy it can get. And growing. If it latches onto the power core, there will be no stopping it. All right, we get rid of the power core. You mean jettison the entire thing into space? It's the only way. but I'm still picking up energy readings. The Dweller should have drained the planet completely by now. Has something gone wrong? I'm not sure. Look, we're picking up something on the view screen. Is it an Autobot ship? No, it's not a ship. It's organic and metallic combined. No! We've got some emergency auxiliary power that'll have to hold us until we can build a new power core. Considering we're still here and we got rid of that creature, it's a small price to pay, Perceptor. The Transformers will return after these messages. The Decepticons are a malevolent race of robot warriors. Brutal and merciless, the Decepticons are driven by a single, undeviating goal. Total domination of the universe. In the war that raged between the Decepticons and Autobots for millions of years, their home planet of Cybertron was drained of its once rich sources of energy. In hopes of finding new reserves for making Energon their basic fuel, the Decepticons followed the Autobots to Earth. Huh? What is it? Laser Beak, prepare for flight. Operation Destruction. It's firing! 
Under the leadership of the ruthless Megatron, they continued their efforts to destroy the remaining Autobot forces. They attacked throughout the Earth and in space using their underwater Decepticon headquarters as their staging base and bunker. But by the year 2000, the Decepticons had proven to be the losers of the last great war. In an attempt to bolster the Decepticon strength, the evil planet gobbling world Unicron reformed Megatron into a new robot named Galvatron to lead the Decepticons in a new era. Now, in 2006, the Decepticons have retreated to a burned out hulk of a planet called Char, a world of ash and ruin. Galvatron and his Decepticon lieutenants, the sleek and awesome Cyclonus, and the mighty Scourge, the master of the dreaded sweeps, strike fear throughout the universe. Their ultimate goal, to reconquer Cybertron and destroy the Autobots.